Hey Aries, massive. What's going on, guys? It's your girl D with Eight House Energy. I'm here to bring you a weekly reading. This is going to be dated for March 1st through the 7th. However, you know that um, time is uh, not the way it is here. <laughs> it's not the way it is up there in uh, in the third dimension, in the fourth, fifth, and sixth dimension. Meaning that it's fluid. It's not the same time frame that we use. So. This can apply whenever you need to uh, see it, okay? I do want to thank you guys for all your love and support for the channel. Thank you so much for all that you do and the many ways that you support the success and vitality of the channel. Thank you so much. Um, this channel has grown so much since May of, of 2019. And I have no one but you guys to thank for all the support that you provide. Thank you. Now, um, the planetary shifts that are going on right now... We have, um, on March 4th, we have Venus going into Taurus. Uranus is already there, okay? Um, so for you, that is your second house, okay? So we have Venus going in there to join Uranus. Um, and this is all about um, your values, how you feel about yourself, your self-image, um, your self-worth. Um, that's reflected in how you feel about yourself as well as the type of people that you deal with and how you allow people to treat you. This also has to do with your financial uh, situation, your possessions, your money, how you make money. All right, so with Uranus in this house at this time, your perspectives are changing on these things, okay? A lot of you are in self-reflection mode trying to figure out, okay, well, what is it? What's valuable to me? What's important to me? What makes sense to me? Okay, in reference to, you know, the people you deal with um, and how you deal with yourself. Again, this also talks about um, value, whether it's um, for things that you can't see and touch or whether it's monetary value, you know, your possessions. So all that is encompassed in this um, in this house. Okay, so Venus is coming in there as well. So um, Venus is all about how you love, how you show love. All right. And with the Taurus energy. This is going to be more stable, more practical, more solid, um, more fixed energy, okay? So a lot of people are looking for connections, real long-term fixed loving connections. They're not looking at the superficiality in partnerships and relationships. They're looking for someone that they can be compatible with, someone they can grow with, they can build a solid foundation with, financially as well as in a loving way. All right? So that's what's going on with people individually, but what's going on globally as far as... Um, um, what's going on in the world as far as business is concerned right now. We got on um, March 4th, we got Mercury going, coming out of retrograde in Pisces. Yay! Going into Aquarius, okay? And then on March 21st, we also have, um, March 21st, we have Saturn going into Aquarius as well. So with these two planets going into Aquarius this month, we're going to notice that on a business scale, whether you know it's through the company you work for, the companies you do business with, you're going to notice that there's going to be changes in policy and procedure. You're probably already noticing that people are leaving corporations, people coming into corporations. So there's a planetary shift in reference to career aspirations, um, professional development, goals, a lot of people going back to school, you know, all these things going on. So um, you may notice changes at your job in reference to how things are done, the old outdated ways, the things that don't work, they're going to be, um, you know, changing those things, okay, because you're going to have the changing of the guard coming in. So a lot of larger execs, higher up execs are going to be relocating or um, changing positions or retiring, and you're going to have new blood coming in. And with that new blood, they're going to be changing up the way things are being done. All right. You're going to see that on the consumer side of things where, like, for example, I just got a text from T-Mobile two, three days ago with them telling me that they're going to um, increase my my monthly rate for my uh, equipment fee for my phone. All right. So you're going to be getting notifications from these companies in reference to different types of changes and upgrades that they're going to be making in reference to these shifts. All right. So just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an understanding of what's going on globally and um, what you might see coming up in the next, um, you know, what you may already be experiencing, feeling or what's coming up shortly. All right. So let's get um, your uh, cards out for you, Aries. Aries. All right. OK, so we start off with Capricorn energy, the devil energy. All right. This is a major arcana. 
So with this energy coming out first and foremost, um, this is about um, a situation that could be going on where there's big, big um, changes. There could be addiction. There could be greed. Okay. Um, there could be, um, you know, this could be feeling as if there's materialism. Okay. Obsession. Okay. Sexual lust. Um, these things are, are what's going on right now. Okay. But let's find out why. So let's see. What is the challenge with this devil energy? What's the challenge here? Seven of Wands, um, defending something, protecting something. The challenge is defending and honoring something, fighting for something, protecting something. That's the challenge. Okay, so the situation is that there's toxic energy. All right, toxic energy somewhere. The challenge is protecting yourself from it. Okay, so something is not right in your energy. Somebody you're dealing with, it could be someone at the job. It could be the job itself. It could be somebody that you're in a relationship with. Okay, but you need to protect yourself. You need to watch yourself because there's some negative energy coming your way. Now, the universe, your higher self, your spirit guides, your ancestors, this is what they want you to keep in mind with this situation. We have the page of swords energy. Okay, so this could be somebody watching you. Okay, somebody checking you out, trying to see what's going on. You may have a restraining order against someone. I'm getting strongly here. And um, or you may need to get a restraining order against someone because someone could be very someone could be obsessed with you, not wanting to let go of a situation. All right. And you could be trying to defend yourself against this person. Okay, but this is energy that's toxic to you. Let's see where your head is at with this situation, Aries. Okay, so you're cutting something off. So you probably already cut this person off. If you've not, you're about to, okay? And because you realize this is a toxic situation, you're about to cut it off. And the challenge is, is um, making sure that you protect yourself from this person. You have to keep in mind that this person could be watching you. So you may need to keep two steps ahead and watch this person and watch what they're doing. All right, but let's see what the outcome is here. What's the outcome for Aries? Ooh. <clears throat> Hold on, I pulled the wrong cards out. Like I pulled like two or three at a time. So let me just shuffle real quick and with my slippery fingers. Sorry about that. All right, so let's see what's the outcome here for my Aries. All right, six of wands. You're gonna be victorious in this situation, so don't worry. Okay, um, you will. You'll get through this. All right, but let's take a look and see what's going on here. Overall energy here is a six of swords. Okay, so yeah, yeah, you had to move away from somebody or move away from something that was just very toxic for you. Okay, let's take a look and see what's going on. Let's see what this devil energy is for my Aries massive. Make sure we get the hell away from this. All right, what's going on with this devil energy here? Cards acting like they don't want to shuffle. I don't know what that's all about. A lot of resistance here. All right, what's going on with Aries? All right, so for some of you with this devil energy, we have the two of wands trying to figure out which hoops, which way to go, what to do, how to do it. All right, and then we also have the strength card. So some of you, yeah, you're trying to fight this, okay? Um, it could be temptation, sexual temptation. Um, you could be dealing with someone that you're really strongly attracted to, but you know that this relationship is just no good. All right. And you're trying to fight the temptation with this person. Okay. Some of you, maybe, um, this is somebody you dealt with, you were married and this is someone you you're cutting off. Okay. Um, for others of you, we have the queen of wands in reverse. Yep. Sexual energy here. And we have the, the tower card. So for some of you, somebody got angry with you. Okay. Somebody got aggressive with you. There could have been some type of um, um, altercation that may have occurred, but there's definitely a tower moment here. Um, with this queen of wands in reverse and this devil energy here, um, hmm, somebody's extremely upset. And there's a, um, a change here that took place that it, it took place for a good reason because it's going to bring positivity in your life. So again, this could have been you just rejecting someone, okay, and they're very upset about it. All right, let's see what else we got here for you guys. 
We got the um, Hermit in Reverse, okay? This is someone lonely, isolated, and we have the Seven of Wands. I'm sorry, Seven of Swords energy here. All right, so someone is, um, with this Seven of Swords energy in this Hierophant, I'm sorry, in this Hermit in Reverse, this Seven of Swords could talk to someone not really sure how to proceed. They're trying to make sure that they don't do something that will cause them trouble. Okay, so they could be tiptoeing around. Um, in this situation, like I said, this could have been somebody who was dealing with someone else, someone who may have been married, okay, with someone else, and they were dealing with someone else, okay, and they realized that, you know what, this energy is too toxic. I need to, you know, I need to end this affair is what I'm getting here. Okay, so someone, someone could have gotten caught as well, or they're afraid of getting caught, you know, and they're looking at, okay, well, why did I do this? Why did I, you know, dip into this energy? Okay, um, with this hermit energy in reverse, this is repeating past mistakes. So this could be someone who um, is having issues fighting off, you know, demons of what of some sort. Could be alcohol, could be drugs, could be sex. Okay, somebody is um, having issues with that. But let's take a look at the seven of wands. You're trying to protect something here. The challenge is protecting something. What is it that you're trying to protect here? We have the nine of wands in reverse. We also have the Two of Cups in reverse. So with the Nine of Wands in reverse here and the Two of Cups in reverse, um, this is telling me that um, that someone is trying to reach out to someone um, because there were some fights and some arguments that went on in the past, perhaps because of this devil energy, and you're trying to protect this relationship from maybe the, you know, the aggravations and the toxic energy that you, you were trying to get rid of. For others of you, I have the um, Eight of Wands in reverse, no communication, delays, and the Six of Swords here, someone leaving, okay? So there's no communication, someone leaving the situation, um, and this is what's challenging here, um, trying to defend or protect something, okay? Um, but this person is not communicating with you, and they left you, and you're trying to get them to come back for some of you, okay, because you may have made a mistake, for others of you, we have the um, Knight of Pentacles in reverse as well as the Two of Swords energy. So some of you, you know, um, you are hesitant on um, making a decision, all right, in reference to protecting this situation. You don't know if you um, want to move forward with it or not. For some of you, you're taking your time about it. You're not in a rush. So some of you, you're not even going to move forward. You're just going to wait. You know, until you absolutely have to make a decision about this. All right. But you could be protecting yourself in this situation here. Let's take a look at this page of swords energy. This is what your higher self and your spirit guides and guardian angels want you to take into consideration with this page of swords. It could represent no, no communication or there, there's a message coming in. All right. We have the eight of cups. Okay. Someone leaving. And we have the queen of cups in reverse. OK, um, and this is someone who may be um, heartbroken. The fact that someone left them. OK, um, that's the energy I'm getting with that. Queen of Cups in reverse could be someone who has been, um, you know, they're tired of the emotional manipulation. So they just decided to leave something behind or someone behind and they're not communicating with this person anymore. OK, they could very well be watching this person, seeing what they're doing. We have the seven of pentacles in reverse, you know, someone taking action, someone not being patient, not waiting, someone wanting something for nothing. And we have the six of cups in reverse. OK, so someone wanting to take action um, in reference to a past situation here um, with the six of cups in reverse. This talks about unrealistic expectations. So somebody's very impatient and they're looking at things. Um, yeah, they're OK. So someone's stalking someone. OK, someone's wanting to get with someone that doesn't want to be with them anymore. For others of you, we have the magician in reverse as well as the um, the fool in reverse. Yeah, somebody is not able to get a new beginning with someone. They're looking, they're watching you because they want to be with you. Someone's obsessed with someone is what I'm getting strongly here. Now, with the queen of swords, this is where your head is at. You cut this information out or you cut the situation out. OK, or you're you're looking to cut it out. Well, let's see. We have the page of pentacles, so this could represent um, a message or someone, a message at work. Um, we have the uh, nine of swords in reverse. This is someone wanting to reach out, wanting to come out of isolation, 
but it looks like um, they're afraid that you may cut them short or you're afraid that they may cut you short and not want to hear what you have to say because of the past. Um, so for others of you, we have the temperance in reverse here. All right. So this is again talking to me about some sexual energy. Um, and then we have the ace of cups in reverse. So, yeah, this is someone who realizes that this is not love. And so they're going to they cut it off. It's unbalanced. It's the unhealthy um, sexual energy, uh, unhealthy sexual attraction for some of you. For others of you, we have the king of pentacles here as well as the queen of swords in reverse. Queen of swords showing up twice in this reading. All right. Uh, but she is in reverse here, clarifying her in the upright. So with the Queen of Swords here, uh, we have the King of Pentacles here. So this is somebody who um, is very quick to cut something off that doesn't make sense. They're focused on their money. And, um, you know, a lot of people, for some reason, they're in denial. Somebody's in denial about this. This could be the fact that somebody's married and somebody's not accepting the fact that this person is married. They're obsessed and they don't care. OK, so this looks like this was a story of someone who cheated, made a mistake, got caught up, tried to end things. And now this person is being kind of stalkerish. All right. Now that um, six of wands is the outcome. So this is you overcoming this situation here. We have the eight of swords in reverse. You getting clarity and we have the three of swords. Yeah. Getting clarity on the situation, um, realizing that this was something that you did to yourself. Um, and that, you know, with the three of swords here, it caused some pain, caused a lot of pain, could have caused pain for your partner. Okay. Or for the person that you were dealing with. For others of you, we have the, um, princess of cups in reverse. Okay. And we also have the four of wands in reverse. So again, for some of you, um, <clears throat> you were able to get out of a situation. Maybe this was a situation where you were married and, um, it was just very toxic and you needed to get away from this situation. You needed to get away from this person. Okay. Because this person was deceitful to you. There was a lot of backstabbing and betrayal with this relationship. And, um, you know, this could be someone who, uh, was watching you or you need to be careful and watch this person of what they're doing. We also have the wheel of fortune here and we have the ace of swords energy. So yeah, um, accepting the clarity in this situation is what's going to put you in a point of, of, of being victorious with the um, with the Wheel of Fortune. So, yeah, you're going to be victorious in this situation, but you do have to, with the Ace of Swords here, you have to provide clarity, mental clarity. You have to get mental clarity um, so that you can move forward victoriously. Um, some of you, like I said, you were dealing with someone who... Um, there was a strong sexual connection here with this person and, um, it, it, it was in a, it was a position where you betrayed your partner. Some of you were married and you were cheating on your partner. Okay. And, um, your partner found out about it. Your partner may have left you or, um, you know, um, told you to leave. Okay. And it looks like for some of you, you're trying to get your partner back. Um, for some of you, you're definitely trying to get your partner back. You realize that you were the problem. You caused this issue and you hurt your partner um, severely. And this is what you're working on. You're focused on getting your partner back. And with the Six of Swords energy here, some of you had to move away or leave the situation. Or some of you have left or you've left the third party situation. Okay, with the Six of Swords energy. <clears throat> we have the Seven of Swords in reverse coming up here again. Seven of Swords showing up twice in this reading. OK, six of swords showing up twice in this reading. So with the seven of swords in reverse, this is someone getting caught out there. This is someone realizing that they made a mistake and they want to apologize. All right. Because they hurt someone with the three of swords energy, three of swords in reverse, three of swords showing up twice in this reading. Ace of cups in reverse showing up twice in this reading. There was no love in this situation. It was just about sex. But you hurt your partner in the process. OK, and you had to make a decision as to what you were going to do, but you were taking your time with this. So for some of you, it was very difficult for you to get things under control. Um, and with the seven of coins here, yeah, you took your time with it. OK, this could have been someone you met at work. This could have been a situation that was going on. It could have been a affair that had been going on for about seven years. For some of you, your person was seeing this person and you found out about it. And so now this person is getting their just due. Somebody's getting justice. OK, at this situation, on the situation here or with the situation. OK, um, <clears throat> what else do we got here? Yeah, there was a lot of illusions. OK, maybe people lying, deceiving other people in reference to what was going on. Somebody could have just been plumb in their head about this situation, like just like obsessed 
with this person here. Okay, and this could have been someone from the past with the Six of Cups energy that they ran into and they got into this situation with them and they made the wrong damn decision with judgment in reverse. Again, some of you cheated on your partner, you cheated on your marriage partner, and now you're um, feeling the remorse of it um, because unfortunately for some of you, your partner left you or Aries, your partner cheated on you and you left them. Okay, and you're mourning the loss right now. You're going through it and you know that, um, you know, moving forward in the future, you're going to be OK with this um, sun energy in reverse. It's just going to take you some time to heal because right now with the king of cups in reverse energy, you're just not about love right now. You're not focused on that. You're not focused on being in a relationship. You're focused on healing yourself from this past atrocity um, that you went through with your partner. OK, and some of you, you know, this was a, a surprise to you. You really didn't. Um, for some of you, you didn't know what was going on here and the way that this energy turned out. It was like a shock to you. It was a surprise to you with the uh, fool in reverse here. OK, um, we have the queen of coins energy again. I'm getting that maybe some of you met this person at work. OK, um, but this is somebody who's focusing on their money, focusing on taking care of their family, um, making sure that they can provide. OK, uh, the queen of cup. I'm sorry, queen of um, pentacles energy. She's someone who's very resourceful. Someone who, um, this could also represent pregnancy, okay, because we did have the sun card show up in reverse, all right, um, and let's see, yeah, there could have been a situation where there was um, a pregnancy scare, okay, because we have the seven pentacles in reverse, and with the seven of pentacles, if you can see her in the upright, you see she's pregnant, and she's waiting for the child, so in reverse, this could have been a pregnancy scare. Maybe this person was saying they were pregnant by you. And maybe that's what this page of swords represents, the paternity test. Okay, waiting on that, waiting on the response for that. And it could have been that you met someone from the past and you may have gotten them pregnant. Okay, and they could be trying to manifest a new beginning with you, trying to get you away from your partner. All right, um, but some of you, you know, you're healing right now through this situation. You're listening to your intuition. OK, and you realize that you want to be with your partner, you screwed up. All right. And you're ready to go apologize to your partner. You know, we have the eight of wands energy here. You're trying to contact them. OK, and let them know, look, you know, I was a little I want a new beginning. You know, things were a bit unbalanced with the situation. Yes, I know that, you know, but with the four of swords here, I want to be with you. I want to come home to you, you know, um, I know that I may have been a little bit controlling, um, but I want to provide for you. I'm going to take care of you. I want us to be a family, you know, and I want to put down all this aggravation and stress with the five of wands in reverse. And I want us to um, manifest, um, you know, communication so that we can get this situated. I know that me, you know, um, partying and hanging out and, you know, doing some of that type of stuff is what put me in a situation where I got weak. Okay. And as a result of me getting weak, you know, um, it messed up our situation here with the Ace of Coins. So your person is very remorseful. Okay, they want to um, connect with you. Um, they they really realize that, um, you know, the energy that they were dealing with was one that was very toxic. Um, they realize that they were weak um, with the situation. They were presented with the opportunity and they fell victim to it. And this was someone that... Um, may have hmm yeah this was someone who was just lonely that they ran into or they would just happen to be lonely at this time and ran into someone is what I'm getting strongly here um your person may have isolated you and so you ran into this person and you realize that okay yeah I've been screwing up this is not you know what I should be doing with my relationship here so let me get you um some advice all right, so Aries, this could be you doing this to someone or did this to someone and someone could be doing this to you. But this devil energy is strong sexual energy that you have with someone. And I'm getting some of you, you were married and you ended up cheating on your partner. Okay, you ended up, yeah, you ended up cheating on your partner. So let's see what messages spirit has for you. We have leap of faith. It's safe to uh, make the uh, move you're considering. Some of you, you want to go back to your partner. You want to apologize. You want to make amends. All right. So the universe is saying if this is really what you feel, then you should take that risk. There's no guarantee that your person will take you back or anything like that. But because of the fact that you realize what was going on and you realize that you, you know, a lot of you, you're battling um, 
sex demons here. You know, like your 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 um your energy is telling me that you it's it's about lust here. It's about um lust. Maybe you were you know you cheated. You definitely cheated on your partner, Aries. Either you or your partner cheated on you, and now as a result, your relationship is up in arms. Play hard. Find time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy each other. So maybe perhaps um, that energy that you have, um, maybe perhaps spending that, you know more time with your partner and not working so much. Okay, because some of you just work, 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 work. Like Rihanna, work, 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 work. You do too much working. And so you're not with your partner. And so as a result, your partner is feeling left out. And that might be why they cheated on you and or you're cheating on your partner because you're at work too much. And like I said, some of you, the person you were cheating with was someone from your job. Or someone you worked with. Let's get one more for you guys. Alright, different pages. So some of you, you just need to go your separate ways. Um, for some of you, this is a situation where this is your karmic partner. And it is time for this relationship to end. It is time for you to move on. So in this case, the leap of faith would be for you to uh, do what it is that you feel you need to do. So for some of you... This Wheel of Fortune, you being victorious, this Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Swords could represent you filing for divorce. Um, stating that if you do that, you will be happier and this will bring you um, good luck. Okay? Because some of you, again, you're with a karmic. Okay? And you need to end the relationship you're with with the karmic so that you can meet the person that you're supposed to be with. Okay? That's what I'm getting strongly for you guys. Okay? So, yeah. Um, some of you, you know, this is a situation where you cheated or your partner cheated and you guys are going in a different direction because it looks like this person has had a problem with this before. This is not the first time this person has cheated. OK, this is or if, if I'm talking to you, this is not the first time you've cheated um, and maybe you're just not, you know, cut to be in a relationship. OK, for some of you, you can't control your, your sexual desires. Um and, and I don't know if it's because when you go out and party, you get drunk or if it's just you, you know, where you're not ready to be, you know, you want to be married. You want to have that front of the marriage life and things like that. But deep down inside, you're not meant to be with this person or you're not ready to commit and be in a monogamous relationship. And that's something that you're going to have to figure out. OK. And on the flip side of it, you're going to have to look at that with your person. Some of you, you know, your person has cheated on more than one occasion. This is not the first time that they've done it. Um, you've been through this hell with them before. And this is why for some of you, it would behoove you to go ahead and file for um, divorce and separate from this person. OK, that's what I'm getting for some of you. So please take the energies as they resonate. Take the messages if they resonate. If they don't leave them, it's not for you. If this didn't resonate with you, check your um, other placements and check the readings for those. You can look back at past um, past readings as well because I post every week. And um, if the past ones don't resonate and this doesn't, then just look for the ones coming next week, okay? But don't forget to check your other placements. Your, your ascending sign, your moon, your Venus, um, your Jupiter, all your other signs. Check those as well because you're not just one sign, okay? Aries, I wish you well with this situation. I love you guys and I will see you next time.